the arrest of Rula Pispirigu, the mother of three girls who died one by one, was like a military operation. The crowd outside the family home was ready to tear apart the de facto killer. So the guards and police had to cover her and even put on a bulletproof vest to take her to the prosecutor's office. Rula's husband disappeared. The rapid development of events and the arrest warrant issued against her for the murder of at least her third daughter shows that the girl's mother tried in every way to cover her tracks in order to confuse the investigation and attribute everything that happened to a tragic fate. It seems that the alleged murderer of the children did not know all the subtleties of criminology, thanks to which the facts were discovered, on the basis of which the commission of the most serious of all crimes, the murder of her own child, was solved. If the coincidence, the girl's deaths, had not repeated, it is likely that the terrible case would have never reached the prosecutor's office. However, the deaths of three children from mysterious, rare and certainly unrelated causes raised suspicion that something was going on here that is difficult for the human mind to comprehend. Now that the Athens prosecutor's office is prosecuting the mother on charges of Georgina's premeditated murder, the way opens for answers to questions about the cause of death of the other two children, children, who also died under mysterious circumstances. In all three cases, an important element was the fact that the children were admitted to the hospital. In fact, doctors and nurses were not present at the time of their deaths. At the same time, of great concern was the fact that the medical staff and even forensic experts did not give clear answers about the cause of the girls' deaths. Sudden and difficult to explain death. In January 2022, a married couple lost nine-year-old Georgina, who died, allegedly of a heart attack. This was preceded by the deaths of three-year-old Milena in 2019 from liver failure and six-month-old Iris in 2021 from congenital heart disease. In all three cases, the girls' health status did not portend their demise, with doctors first expressing their optimism about their speedy recovery and then their extreme surprise about the deaths. Milena's death. Three-year-old Milena passed away on April 13, 2019. She was three years and eight months old when she was admitted to Children's Hospital with symptoms of a rare disease. According to doctors, the disease was completely treatable and the child soon returned home safe and sound. As Rula Pispirigu stated, on Saturday morning, April 13, the child was in good condition. In fact, the picture of her eating a kebab in her hospital room is distinctive. A few hours later, when the father sitting at his daughter's bedside went home, everything changed. As Rula stated, that day my husband left and I stayed by her side, we fell asleep. An hour later, the baby and I were awakened by a nurse who came to give her stomach medicine. Ten minutes later, at 4.40 p.m., the baby shuddered, wheezed, and remained with her eyes half open. I spoke to her, shouted Milena, Milena, and then ran to call the nurses. The child passed away. However, the mother's testimony is not supported by the official documents recorded by the doctors at the time of Milena's death, because they claim that the mother called them for help at 5.15 p.m i.e. 35 minutes later, there are other elements that are being investigated and are important. Later, the medical examiner who examined her attributed her death to liver failure. It is noted that the forensic medical report written on Milena, signed by medical examiner Christina Zacona, specifies that small abrasions were found on the girl's nose. Iris death. Rula Pispirigu and Manos Daskalakis' youngest child, six-month-old Iris, died in her sleep at the family home in March 2021. She was in the same room as Georgina. The little girl, according to the medical examiner's report, died of sinus nodogenesis, a degeneration of the heart cells that caused the organ to stop working. On that fateful night, Demetra's sister slept at home with the mother of the family, Rula Pispirigu. As the children's aunt said in an interview, around 7.30 am the baby woke up, her mother got up and gave her a pacifier. Then at 11 they went to wake her up, and the aunt saw that she wasn't waking up. First they warned Manos Daskalakis to hurry up, then they attempted CPR, to start her heart, but then they still called an ambulance. The aunt of the three children apparently focused on the fact that the child was unconscious at 11 o'clock, whereas according to the media, the mother said that the child was found unconscious at 11.30. According to the local newspaper, the main question about Iris's death was when she was found unconscious and when the call was made to the Akov. An ambulance arrived and took the child's body to Carmandanio Hospital, where doctors pronounced her dead. There was much talk about the bloody handkerchief that was found near the unfortunate little girl. The item was handed over by the Patre Forensic Services two days after the child's death, because the parents allegedly did not discover it from the first moment. Also two and a half months after Iris's death, her mother asked authorities to return the handkerchief, but was refused. Toxicology tests on Milena and Iris were clean, but they were not conducted broadly. 
and now law enforcement had to take the case from the beginning, Georgina's death. The Daskalaki family's third child, nine-year-old Georgina, passed away on January 29, 2022. She was admitted to Caramandio Hospital in Petras with heart failure of unknown cause. This was followed by a defibrillator and pacemaker implantation at the Onassis Center. In early summer, she was hospitalized at the University Hospital in Rio with encephalopathy of unspecified etiology. A series of hospital visits followed, and in 2022 the nine-year-old girl was readmitted to the University of Rio with seizures. The medical team decided that the child needed further neuropathological evaluation, and the decision was made to transport her to the Children's Hospital of Aglaya Kiriako. Aglaya Kiriako. The child died suddenly on January 29. A few hours after her last goodbye, her mother Rula Pispirigu wrote on her Facebook account, I gave birth to you, I gave you life. But I'm mad at you for leaving my arms empty. You were my support, the reason I laughed, the reason I had the strength to move on. You were a fighter until the last moment, you laughed, you looked at us, unable to speak, and in our eyes you saw support. Goodbye, my little one. Have a nice meeting with your sisters. For me, you never left and you never will. I love all three of you. Georgina's death opened a Pandora's box. A series of publications and broadcasts followed, revealing details of the high-profile case and the mystery of Georgina's and the other two children's deaths. At Homicide, analysts focused on Georgina's death because they had all the information they needed to unravel the case. So those doctors who dealt with the child's health began to testify in the first phase. They were 20 doctors working in five hospitals in Athens and Petras. The police, after learning the medical history, tried to go into detail about the health problems, the treatment the children received, and the conditions of hospitalization. The first information revealed a discrepancy in what the doctors claimed and what the mother of the nine-year-old said in her first statement to the Ampelikipan police station, as well as in an interview. In their testimony, the doctors referred to the circumstances surrounding Georgina's death, asking questions about her unclear causes because the child had no heart problems, and that despite what the mother said about seizures and neurological problems, they found nothing to support the above claims. The nurses who had cared for the girl in the hospitals where she was hospitalized were also called to testify. Rula Pispirigu, along with her husband Manos Daskalakis, who is reportedly the tragic character in the story, spoke disarmingly truthfully about the drama they experienced. Both repeated the word suddenly many times to emphasize that their children passed away instantly, inexplicably, while nothing foretold that anything bad would happen. Suddenly in her sleep she tried to breathe but couldn't, the mother said of Milena. Toxicology tests showed nothing, he said of Iris. The doctor said the baby has no heart problems, he said, referring to Georgina's sudden health problem. As it turned out, based on the available investigation data, the mother knew the horrible answer to the causes of the three deaths. She was also present with them when the girls died. Since some people emphasize that I was present at that moment, I want to say that I am the mother of the children and in general was near them all the time. What are you so surprised about? Don't be silly, the woman excused herself, responding to suspicions that were later confirmed. How can all the tests be good and the baby dies? The father, Manos Daskalakis, was perplexed by the death of his first child. Georgina was the girl who suffered the most at an age when she could understand everything. Toward the end, she complained that she felt like she had a bomb in her belly, ready to explode. From April 2021 she was in and out of hospitals. Then she would start having serious problems and seizures again, and she would go back to the doctors. At the hospital, doctors were unable to diagnose the girl's rare health problem and what ultimately killed her. They diagnosed gastroenteritis and psychological problems due to the death of her two younger sisters, and discharged her. But the same tragic fate befell her. The substance ketamine provided the answers. Forensic experts were able to look into the past and identify critical elements that confirmed interference in the deaths of the three girls from the outside, although hitherto attributed to pathological causes. The key to the prosecution is called ketamine, a substance that is not sold and is mostly used in veterinary medicine. Forensic experts found it in Georgina's body, which should not be the case. Forensic scientist Gregoris Leon said in an interview that the discovery of the substance speaks to a criminal scenario. This substance is commonly used in veterinary medicine as an anesthetic. Now we need to assess whether it contributed to the death, i.e., we need to check the amount received by the girl. We need to find out if the administration of ketamine caused the child's death, contributed to her demise by causing a number of other health problems in the body. That will be seen from the toxicology examinations, the specialist said. According to the first information, and pending the Auth Lab's announcement for toxicology tests, the amount of ketamine found was indeed enormous, 
six times more than if it had been used for anesthesia. Which, again, the doctors claimed in their testimony that they did not intend to administer. The case is expected to be finally solved in the near future. Rula Pispirigu is currently in custody as a suspect in the death of at least one of her daughters. Experts warn, it is not impossible that she will try to commit suicide. At the same time, the local community of Petras is gathered outside the home of the child killer, unable to do nothing in the face of this unspeakable horror. All of Greece is also reacting with thousands of comments from Twitter users expressing their disgust for the murderous mother. The crime story could turn out to be the crime of the century. If you like the video, please support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, there are a lot of interesting things ahead of you.